Hi, I'm Hope Girl, and welcome to the debut of the People's Free Energy Show, brought to you here from the Fix the World headquarters in Restinga, Morocco. And I'm here today with Tavon Rivers, our very special guest for our first show. So Tavon is an engineer and clean energy researcher, an electronics technician and network engineer with 16 years of experience. He's worked in information technology and software, education, and the healthcare industry. Electronically trained as an installation network technician in the United States Navy, he has a degree in computer studies from the University of Maryland. He's researched alternative energy for over 10 years and now is starting an online project, Space Visuals, which sells do-it-yourself circuits and kits to researchers and businesses. He believes many of the engineering problems plaguing society require cost-effective, efficient, and nature-inspired solutions. So we give Tavon a warm welcome. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you for having me. About some of the work that you're doing. So you've got something here. Uh, you've got this wonderful website. So if you can go ahead and tell everybody what your site is. Yes, yeah, so uh, the site is uh, called spacevisuals.com. It's currently um, it's, it's currently being published. That, you know, there's some final bits to be added on. It will be online uh, within the next few weeks. Um, but it is an online project. It is a business, and uh, what spacevisuals.com is, uh, what Space Visuals is, uh, is a way of um, offering um, DIY uh, circuits uh, uh, for well for the researcher, for anyone wanting to uh, experiment with clean energy. DIY as in do it yourself. Yeah, do it yourself. Yeah. Uh, so these circuits are meant to be affordable circuits, uh, circuits that are of use. For anyone wanting to explore anything from uh, just yeah, alternative energy um, or, or anything dealing with uh, efficient efficient use of electrical power, so you know, Wi-Fi, um, you're know, running things like LEDs, uh, uh, various circuits that I think uh, for the researcher and experimenter uh, they'll find uh, uh, of use. And so, uh, what you mentioned. Okay, so you've got a couple of them yes. here, and you know, just just from my observation, I've been in a lot of these labs with, with these energy workers, and it's like they need all different kinds of parts. Yes. So to have somebody make a specific part that can do a specific, it would it saves time, it saves money. Yes. Um, so you're creating these particular parts. Yes. To help other engineers who are experimenting with all different forms of energy yeah, to that's make correct. it easier and get us all there faster. So yes. these are incredible, this is an incredible tool to have. So what yes. are they? Let so, me see them. <laughs> we're, not, we're gonna hold them up to the camera. What I have here are two sets of coils. And for anyone who's invent, uh, uh, familiar with a Tesla coil, uh, a Tesla coil, basically you have a large copper primary with very few turns. And that's normally where you have the electrical power coming in from. Uh, so it's normally like a certain nominal voltage, but very high current. And in a Tesla, this Tesla transformer, you normally have a, a large stack of, of a secondary, which is copper windings, many turns, sometimes hundreds of thousands of turns, to step up the voltage to tens of hundred hundred thousand volts. Uh, and then with uh, a, a large metal top load, where you have to see the sparks come out. For anyone who's familiar with the Tesla coil. So the point of this is to make Tesla coils to a, 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 very, a very small compact form. So they no longer need to be tall and, and take up a large amount of volume of space, but you can shrink them down to size. And one way to do that is <laughs> by having them on these PCB coils. I'm sorry, yeah, PCB coils. So these are made out of PCB board like with um, all so, electronic circuits. So it was about this tall. Yeah, so right? your Tesla coil like on your desktop can sit normally that high. That, that tall and you've condensed it down into like a CD. Yes. It's amazing. Now, yeah, so the innovation is that what you'd have is like this would be a primary and you'd have very few turns where you send the power in and you only need one of these. It's four layers um, of um, three, three ounce copper and what you can have is another one of these where it's many turns, you know, like a hundred turns in this in this example. It's double sided, um, and you can have many of these connected in series or parallel, but in series in this example. And the form of here, you can have five of these to make five hundred turns, sit on top, and then your form can be very small, and then you have your top load only this high. So what you're trying to do is have a condensed form of a Tesla coil, the same performance of a Tesla coil that is that tall. 
And of course, that's just one application of these coils. These are pancake coils, so any, anything dealing with Wi-Fi, other applications. Um, what are some of the things they that would... they might be able to do that, that won't, mm. I'm not, we're not making claims that it yes. does this, but these are some of the things that are being experimented, something about structuring water might yes. be a possibility. Um, what were some of the other possibilities? So it, it, the, the, there are many, there's a lot of research worth, uh, worth investigating online dealing with pancake coils in general because they emit radiation above and below in a very focused way. And in, 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 in doing that, um, there are many, many researchers that are looking at things like wireless electricity, you know, like what conventional coils can do, but can do it more efficiently, mm -hmm. up to uh, now uh, the, the area of structured water, because water can carry information and store information. And depending how you imprint that information onto water, um, that's what's being researched. And in, in pancake coils, since they're able to send out very focused ways, uh, um, very focused radiation uh, patterns, that's something that's worthy of research. That's excellent. Well, um, and what, what was the price range that you think um, these might be selling for? So, like one of these secondary, or many turns, like this is a hundred turn double sided coil, uh, would go for uh, 30 US dollars. Um, and this primary coil, which is four layers um, of bifiler windings here. I would go for uh, 40 US dollars. Excellent, so very reasonable and incredibly helpful for engineers. Yes. And so we're gonna go ahead and put your website up there and, and links to that and Thank you. Um, hopefully help, uh, help you help others uh, because this is, this is our way of you know, doing business in the new paradigm and supporting each other's projects.